Wow, look at that one. I've just found something that looks absolutely amazing. Join me while I search my local beaches for three days straight on a fossil hunting adventure. There's some fantastic finds in this video, so make sure you watch it. So I'm down on the beach and the very first fossil that I've come across today is this shale preserved bellamite. There's no fragma clone to it, it's literally just the bellamite itself. There's a second one there which will be going into the rock. So I'm just searching near the cliff and I've spotted a really nice looking nodule that has rolled out. Looks like it's rolled out very recently. Looks like the perfect shape to have a nice ammonite on the inside. I'm going to crack it open right now. And there we go. So it's a very tough cookie, but I've managed to crack it open to reveal the lovely edge of an ammonite fossil. So I'll take this one back and prepare it a little bit more to reveal the beautiful ammonite fossil inside. So there's every chance that this rock here was never preserved fully, but there's a lovely looking Harposerus wearing out of the top with the middle blown. Not sure what species that one is actually. Maybe it's another Harpo. Be nice if that was all there and nicely preserved, but it's not. So this nodule here looks like it's got a belter of a ammonite on the inside of it. And it certainly does. Can you spot that keel right there? I'll zoom in so you can see it yourself. It should be a perfect splitter. And really nicely shaped as well. And we've got a split. Let's see if it's gone well. Perfect popper there. Over the moon with that one. <sighs> split right down to the very centre. What a beautiful positive and negative ammonite. So this is quite an interesting little find. It's a very fragmentary remain of an ichthyosaur paddle. So that's a little square or rectangle paddle digit and you can see where the other ones would have fit on. There's a few tiny ones, little cross sections of them. That's a very interesting little find. It's a shame there's no more of it around. I'm going to have a little look but I don't think I'll find any more. You never know. I've just found something that looks absolutely amazing. A block packed full of marine reptile bones, probably ichthyosaur. Let me show you it. It's absolutely huge, full of vertebra. What an amazing piece. It's got ribs running all the way through it. There's a vertebra coming out at the other end there and the ribs are just jam-packed through it. That is incredible. Oh my God. Well, I am absolutely over the moon with that beautiful, big, heavy, pyritic bone block. Now I've just got to carry it back home, but first let's see if there's any more finds washed up on the beach. My dad just picked up this beautiful double Dactylioceros example, quite a pyritic one, but I think that'll prepare out really nice. So I've been having a look around at the rocks at low water and I've found these loose beach pebbles. So I'm going to give them a tap and hopefully there's an ammonite or two amongst them. So we've got a nice looking Tenuclostat ammonite on the inside of here. And there we go. This bottom bit here was never preserved, but it's a nice one on the inside.
Oh wow, look at that one. Ah. Yep. Oh. Fortunately I broke that top bit off. So I'm going to take this one back and I'm going to prep down from that side and it should be a perfect one. It's too nice to leave on the beach even though it's broken. So I'm going to crack open the very last nodule. It's had a very good success rate so far so hopefully this one isn't a disappointment. I've got a nice looking crack running through it. Let's find out how it's gone. Oh wow! An absolute corker. And there's a negative impression. A very good success rate with these beautiful ammonites. We've got quite a few negatives to take back as well. It's always worth taking back the negatives because they're just Looks so nice to go together. If you'd like to purchase your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please check out my website called buyafossil.com. I've got a bunch of beautiful prepared ammonite specimens, all available for purchase with worldwide shipping. I've also got unopened nodules that you can have shipped to your own house. Please take a look if you are interested. Thank you very much. Now it's day two of the fossil hunting adventure. Let's head down to the beach and see what we can find. It's yet another beautiful morning to be out fossil collecting on the Yorkshire coast. There's a nice looking ammonite on the inside of here, so I'm going to take this one back. I will use my air pin at home to remove the rest of the rock. A massive cliff fall, you can see the big gap in the cliffs where it's all come from. So I've come across this little area here with a cliff fall. You can see quite a few shale slabs washed underneath the cliffs, so I'm going to have a look amongst them to see if there's anything of interest. So that's always an interesting find. A squashed bellamite. I'm actually going to pick it out using my hand, it's so loose. Beautiful, fresh and crisp example there. Right down to the very tip. You can see why these beautiful fossils get destroyed by the sea so easily. So you might find it a little bit hard to see what I've actually got here, but there's ichthyosaur bones. So there's a circle of a vertebra there with the neural arch and it runs all the way through the rock to the other side where there's the other end of the vertebra with the neural. Quite a nice find. It's been sat wearing about on the beach for a little bit, but always a good pickup. Nice little Hildoceros ammonite that I've just popped out of this rock here. There's the negative impression of it.
Hello everybody, I'm on the third of three back-to-back -back hunts. I've had some really good finds so far on the last two hunts. So hopefully today there'll be some more good stuff coming along. I'm at a little bit of a remote spot today. Let's go. Fortunately not a good split on that one. On to the next one, let's go. So I've opened the rock and there was a beautiful bellamite on the inside of it. So this is the fragmacone of the squid-like creature. Very cool. So unfortunately it's not all fully there, but this ammonite has beautiful spikes on it. It's a Peronoceros species. These are very tricky to prep out. But I'm going to take this one back just because I always like these spiky specimens. So that's something that I've not found for quite a while. It's a extremely crushed fossilized Nautilus. Now these type of things don't occur very often on the Yorkshire coast, but I'm very happy to find this one. I'm not sure if it'll be able to be prepped out. I might try and remove a bit of this pyritic matrix here just to see what's underneath because you can see some little bit of shell there. But yeah, very nice little pocket find. So I've just picked up this very pyritic rock here and it's jam-packed full with Elegantisserus ammonites running in all directions all the way through the rock. You can see a cross section of many ammonites there. And there's even quite a few on the back. So that's a nice little beach find, already popped open by the sea. A very chunky little ammonite, either a Peronoceros or a Catecholoceros, I would have thought. Always nice to pick them ones up. So I've just picked this nice looking nodule up. I'm going to give it a tap and see how it goes. So you can already see there's a nice Tenucostatum ammonite in there, but I'm a bit unsure about this crack, what's running around it. It could go straight through it. So I've managed to split it down, unfortunately this crack has gone a bit bigger, so I'm going to have to take it all back and get some glue on it. But it's a really nice ammonite on the inside of there. Some of them do just have natural fractures. So I'm slowly making my way back. The tide is now fully out. Beautiful semi-costatum ammonite. A nice little example, which has popped really well. Some very lightly looking ammonite nodules. These two definitely have ammonites on the inside of them, it's just a matter of how well they will split open. Oh wow, there was one in there. So it was a double. What I'll do is I'll clear this middle out and there'll be at least one really nice one. So this is gonna be a really nice one, I'm pretty sure. There's definitely one on the inside of it. Got a nice little crack running round. Let's take a look at the ammonite inside. And 
then beautiful big tenu cristatum peeking out of there. So I'm going to prepare that back at home. So I've just noticed a little crack running around and it looks like it's gone around all the right spots. So I'm just going to try and pop it on camera. And there we go. Wow, look at that one. Perfect. Hopefully you have all enjoyed this video. I've done something different by filming three fossil hunts in one. If you'd like to see more like this, please let me know in the comments. Thank you. So just before the video ends, I wanted to show you a really cool little dactylosaurus piece that I found very recently and I've had prepared by my friend Malcolm. A beautiful dactylosaurus specimen. And on the back of it, there's another two perfect pinpoint middle dactylosaurus examples and a really small one there but again with a pinpoint middle. I think this is a very pleasing piece to have in your fossil collection. I will be listing this beautiful find for sale via my website today. I'm sure someone out there would love to have this beautiful fossil from the Whitby coast to their collection. Hopefully whoever buys it will enjoy it.